I actually can't get this off my mind, and I keep thinking about this because the problem is, is I see this all the time. There's something I really like or something that I use, and you have to ask yourself, can the ship be steered enough to make it into something I, li I really, really like? Or does it simply need to be redone? And I think this is the heart of this post that Jared made. He filed this issue and then started working on Bun. And during this little, little exchange right here, Mateo said, I imagine a different world if you sent a PR to fix it and became a Node.js collaborator, making it faster. And then, Bun, uh, then Jared responded with, Bun's existence is inspiring Node and the broader ecosystem far more than me contributing to Bun or to Node would have. And so is that, is that true? Is that fair? I don't know if that's true, but I'm also curious because Node will never take in TypeScript as part of their build system. Node's probably not going to provide a bundler. Node probably won't wrap NPM for installing packages. Node probably won't do any of those things. You know, Node hasn't really made the attempt to solve the ESM versus common JS problem, and instead, it's just emotional bruising the entire way. It feels like even though this is about performance and what he said is about performance, it's not about performance, right? To me, it's a, to me, it seems like even if he did fix this, we would still be in the same situation and he would have created Bun anyways. Yeah, Bun creates an ecosystem. Node is just one tool within an ecosystem. I think that's fair. I think NeoVim, so, so I, I do relate this a lot to NeoVim. NeoVim was the response because Bram, bless his soul, uh, it, it was Bram's, and Vim is just Bram's project, right? That's all it was. He gave all of his money he made on Vim to charity. He was a genuinely nice guy, and he did all of that, but it was still just his project. If he wanted to work on X, that's just what he worked on. It didn't matter anything about what you wanted in Vim. I'm sure it did, right? He read feedback, and he tried to make what he could the best, but it wasn't the communities. It was Bram, and NeoVim was what the community wanted, not what Bram wanted. And so this just reminds me so much of it, which is there's there's a breaking point that we come across and we do that. And then this post came right afterwards. So if you don't know this one, this is the creator of uh, Lodash, okay? That one project that every single, uh, every single repo in the world has a reference to, yet I'm not even sure if anyone actually uses it. Uh, I had folks uh, tell me during the days of Lodash development that I should have opened PRs to underscores. Those trash takes were short-sighted. Let me break it down for you. Um, I can get why Mateo did not like this response in the sense that those trash takes, right? What he's saying is that this response right here is a trash take. I don't think this is a trash take because it could have been a different world. Would have known allowed Bun, would would Node have moved in the direction that Bun is or isn't? I don't know. And so he goes on and he talks about, uh, let's see, assumes a one-off PR and not a larger issue. This is very, very true. Fixing the FS would not have been the only thing Jared was upset about. It is very interesting, though, right? And so you can see that it just keeps on going, all these stuff. And, like, is Bun making it a better place? Right, the response to this, right, where he says this, Bun's existence is inspiring Node in the broader ecosystem. I think it's putting pressure on Node to become more performance focused and really to ask ourselves, why hasn't the tooling around JavaScript changed in the last 10 years? Why is it still just a piece of crap, right? Every six months, a new bundler comes out. Every six months, you're told that this is the newest, greatest thing that has ever come along. Every six months, you have to change all of your crap to be in line with the greatest thing ever to be created. And then Bun kind of comes along and tries to like change that. No, we will do the bundling. No, we will do like everything. No, we're going to do all of it. I mean, obviously, the secret lie is they don't do it all, right? They're still formatting. There's ESLint. There's prettier, right? So unless if they're getting prettier and ESLint rules and all that put into place, they're not quite doing it all. There's still a ton of configuration, right? There's still a TSConf. There's still a package.json. There's still all these things. You still need a prettier RC. You still need a tailwind thing, right? Like to do all of web development, there's just so much dependencies and so much 
incremental building that needs to happen. I mean, can Bun truly fix it all and make it into the ultimate bundler? Maybe. But imagine like the undue burden on Bun to make it into an, uh, the ultimate bundler, right? I mean, they're going to have to support so much crap. Like, that's why Null LS, right? We read this not too long uh, ago. No, Null LS is uh, being archived. And the reason why it's being archived is because Null LS, like, there just comes a point where you cannot maintain all of it, right? Like, that's my worry about Bun, is that they're going the direction of Null LS. Like, we must actually make the all one stop ecosystem to build this in. I just don't know if I don't know if web development is fixable. <laughs> like I don't know if we could really make it in such a way that makes sense. And a lot of that just comes down to the insatiable need to not use the standard or what's available, but instead continuously elaborate on what is currently uh, there and to make it into m like more abstracted, like Tailwind. Tailwind's great, but it's just an abstraction over CSS. It requires a build step. TypeScript is great. It's, it has a great little LSP. Again, you need an abstraction. You need a build step over JavaScript. Bun made that a little bit better. Prettier, ESLint, like everything. It's just there's always some other thing you have to add. And it's like emotionally draining. How many are they going to go before they say this is all we're supporting? What if types come out and now you have this whole type problem going on along with TypeScript? When do you stop supporting TypeScript? What happens if TypeScript fundamentally deviates from JavaScript types and you have this at ends kind of thing going on? Like what do you do then? Do you support TypeScript or do you support JavaScript with types from the committee? A lot of, yeah, I mean, and that's the biggest thing is that you go to any other language, you go to Rust, you got Cargo, you go to Go, you got Go, you go to Zig, you got Zig, you go to OCaml, you got kind of Dune and, and it's coming together, it's almost complete, and, and it's OCaml, like nobody works on OCaml, there's like 17 OCaml influencers, and they're all working on tooling, and the tooling's starting to get pretty good. It's just an interesting world. Honestly, it's just an interesting world. Uh, PHP, you don't like it, but it, it is the right tool. They are all TJ and Jane Street. Literally, it's just TJ and Jane Street putting it all together. Anyways, I still can't, for whatever reason, I can't shake this, and I can't quite figure out why this exchange, this exchange bothered me so much because I don't think Mateo's wrong, and I don't think Bun's wrong. I am unsure if Jared could have made Node into something that looks like Bun, and I am unsure if Node would have had as much appetite to change as Jared wanted. And my biggest concern right now is that we've just fractured the system even more. Every library, all 100,000 Node packages, by the way, every time you say NPM, a new NPM module is created. So just so you know, we've just created several thus far. But think about the amount of PRs right now that have if is bun. And unironically or ironically, I'm not sure if uh, Larky created this, but there is an NPM is bun module. Ah, dang it. Why is this so hard to find? Uh, what is it? Is it NPM uh, JS dot what? Yes, I was looking at butt plug. Okay, this is hilarious to me that there's a butt plug development guide on NPM, on NPM, and I think it's funny that there's also React butt plug as well. React butt plug JS. I, okay, I can't remember what it is. Anyways, is uh, is bun? Look at this. It was published eight days ago. How much do you want to bet you're gonna see this thing start to explode? Right? It's just gonna right because everybody's gonna want that bun fast path. So I'm gonna have the is bun. They're going to hack your ass. They literally are going to hack your ass. Oh, uh, the, the reason why I thought it was funny is because there is something called React Butt Plug. Um, and, and it literally has vibrator search buttons, vibrator controls. You can make a UI for your butt plug, so that way you can control it from your phone. Just in case, you know, you don't want to have to be fangling, jangling back there. You can just turn it on with your little phone. Laugh now, but guess what? Won't be laughing when you get that telephone app now, will you? Typical JavaScript dev. Anyways, now that we've completely ruined the stream and my point is completely gone, but I'm going to hot take this one, which is I think Bun is a really incredible product made with incredible effort that was a technically incredible piece that I think will be deprecated. 
I know. It's a little bit spicy. The best part about Bud is that I get to forget about Dino. Yeah. They said that about React. Look at where we are. Yeah, I'm not saying that the world can be a worse place. React made more sense because we were un we were unknowledgeable about what it's like having uh, having template engine and DOM bindings in the same area, right? I think we are unaware of the downfalls of that. Just something to think about. And I think you guys should also think about this, uh, which is when do you create, when do you contribute versus when do you, uh, when do you burn it down and create your own? I don't know. I still, I, I, and by the way, I still think that Bun should have used Hermes. I honestly think that it's, it's that, that's the reason. I think that's truly the reason why it's not gonna, it's not gonna win because JSC is not compelling. Zig is not compelling, right? Zig and Zig and JSC aren't a compelling difference between C and JS and, and V8. Hermes is very ex exciting. Every time I say Hermes, I swear you guys say herpes. It's just such a stupid joke. Guys, stop being so stupid. Why you got to make such stupid jokes? All right, the name is. I actually don't use JavaScript on the server again. Suck on that. A jet. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs>